happy Tuesday and happy so what day? The witch is in, okay? The witch is in. <laughs> How many of you have completed your witch wall hangings or door hangers or whatever we want to call them? Right now the witch is in, but it also flips around to say the witch is out. So it's a reversible in the hoop project and you can grab up that design at sulky.com. We also have thread palettes that come with this design collection as well. Um, they should be shipping out, I think, by the beginning of next week. We should have all the thread for those orders. So uh, you can make your own The Witch is In or Out wall hanger in time for Halloween decorating. How many of you out there have already decorated your homes for Halloween. I'm starting to see the decorations pop up around the neighborhood. Um, I have a few things out here and there. I've been decorating my sewing space for, I don't even know, three weeks now. Um, I get a little excited about Halloween. <laughs> and I have a lot of Halloween decorations. Um, dare I say more than I have Christmas. I'm not sure. <laughs> but at any rate, it's a fun time of year. So um, we still have plenty of time, though. If you haven't gotten out your Halloween decor yet, plenty of time, right? We've got over a month to uh, get in the Halloween spirit. As you can also see above my head, we are celebrating 200 episodes of So What? <laughs> That's my party noise. Um, it's very exciting. What a feat. Can you believe we've done 200 of these episodes? It's pretty exciting stuff. So to celebrate our 200th episode, I have a mega door prize today that I'm going to give away to one lucky viewer who is watching this live stream, commenting, uh, posting those little emojis, somehow interacting with me today. You also need to be sure and like the Sulky Facebook page if you're watching there or subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're watching there. So as long as you're doing all of those things, you are eligible to be the winner of our Mega Door Prize today, which is a $200 shopping spree at Sulky.com. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty fancy, right? I, I feel special for um, being able to give that away to someone. Um, so that can buy a lot of thread, just saying. So make sure that you are commenting, posting, sharing out the post, giving me those emojis, the thumbs up. I'll even take the crying emoji if you know, you're not feeling up to it today. I get it. Um, all you have to do is somehow engage with the post and again, Make sure that you have liked the Sulky Facebook page if you're watching from there or subscribe to our YouTube channel if you are watching from there. And I will personally notify the winner so you will know it's me and not a spam bot, whatever they're called, um, you know. All right, so lots of you are saying hello and where you're coming from. Kathy says, that's 200 projects, amazed. You know what, Kathy? I bet you it's even more than 200 projects because, you know, sometimes I will show two or three on an episode. So, I mean, I can't even, I can't even fathom it either. <laughs> but um, I recognize a lot of your names too over these 200 episodes. And it's so cool that you guys come back and keep watching. And we're really creating a community here and it's just, it's been really fun to, um, you know, guide it along and, and watch, you know, how all of this has unfolded. We certainly learn a lot from each other every week on Tuesday. And um, I really thank you for your comments and tips and techniques as well, because it has made me a better sewer and better able to handle a lot of questions that come my way. Um, so I really appreciate this time um, that we have together as well. All right. So today we have a lot to talk about. Not only are we celebrating 200 episodes of So What, but National Sewing Month is coming to a close. So this is going to be our last uh, So What of September. 
which means that, you know, we get into October and Halloween and Thanksgiving and the holidays, um, which are just, it's, it's like the sewing season, right? <laughs> so it kind of starts as National Sewing Month and carries us through. We get excited about our sewing machines again. We celebrate them. We make sure they're serviced and ready to go for all of the holiday gift making that we're going to do and fun projects that we're going to make um, come in the coming months. So um, to sort of celebrate National Sewing Month as well, I'm going to be talking about our So Good Sewing Supply Roll-Up Project today. And I kind of, you know, let the cat out of the bag and gave you a little bit of a sneak peek on this project last week uh, because we have a brand new kit offering for this particular project. And I'm really excited about it. I hope we do lots more of these at sulky.com because the kit not only comes with all the supplies you need for this project, it also comes with a full video tutorial start to finish video tutorial. And it also comes with the full pattern PDF. So you can print out the instructions or look at them on your screen, save it in your computer for future reference. If you want to make lots more of these as gift ideas, you know, make this one for yourself, learn the technique and the construction, and then you can, you know, make all kinds of them. And I'm going to go over different embellishment ideas for them as well because it really does make a great, great gift. So I started talking about this last week, but I really just showed you the project and then I gave you a link to the kit. Well, today I'm gonna take you through the project a little bit more extensively so you get um, more, more of an idea how it comes together and then you can grab up the special kit and I will go over all of that with you. So it's gonna be kind of like one of our uh, free webcasts, but I'm going to be doing it here on So What. Um, let's see. I have so many, you know, so much business to take care of before we get into the project. Ooh, okay. So along with our $200 uh, shopping spree to sulky.com for one lucky viewer who is watching, commenting, all those good things, we also have an amazing flash sale for everybody watching here right now. So this flash sale is only going to be good, only going to be good during So What and for about an hour after. So share it out. Let your friends know because with coupon code So What, all one word, So What, no spaces, you can get 35% off of a $100 purchase at Sulky. Dot com. Where's my round of applause? So as a thank you for being loyal, so what uh, viewers over these 200 episodes, you can get this great, great deal, but you do need that coupon code, so what, to get 35% off of a $100 purchase. So if you grab up just a few of the things that I'm going to talk about today, put them in your cart, it's going to be like getting something for free. Um, and that something could very well be the kit I'm going to be talking about today. Um, so as long as you spend $100, you can get 35% off. Okay, lots of comments coming in now. <laughs> okay, great. Keep the comments coming because that is how you're going to be eligible to win today's door prize. Um, but everybody is eligible for that coupon code. So it's a one-time coupon. Um, and again, as long as you have $100 worth of stuff in your cart, you can get 35% off using coupon code So What. Okay. All right. Mary Ann says, wow, that's amazing. <laughs> All right. Perfect. So before we get to that, um, you might want to add another kit to your cart as well to get you to that $100 threshold. And it might as well be the kit for our 2023 Mystery Quilt Along. How many of you out there have registered for the Quilt Along thus far? We have quite a few people waiting for the first Quilt Along post 
to hit your inboxes, which will happen October 6th. So not this Friday, but next Friday, if I have that right, the quilt along will begin. And here's how it works. So you will not know what the quilt looks like until the very last post of the quilt along. So once you register on October 6th, you will receive an email saying the first part of the quilt along is ready for you. And the first part is going to be instructions for how to make one of the blocks featured in the quilt. So you'll learn how to make that block, and then we will tell you how many of that block to make for the finished quilt. So you'll have a week to finish that amount of blocks, and you can set them aside. Then the following Friday, you will get another email saying the next video is available for viewing, which will come with the next instructions for the next block featured in the quilt. You'll learn how that block is created, and we will tell you how many of that block to create for the quilt, and so on. See where I'm going with it? For the final Friday in October, you will get the final quilt pattern. You will already have all of your blocks made, and now we will tell you the layout for the blocks. So you can finish your quilt top, and you will have the finished pattern that includes all the blocks, and the finished quilt, and ideas for quilting it. You'll also receive a short video for different ways to quilt the finished project um, so that you can layer it with your batting and backing and bind it. And over the month of October, you will have finished an entire quilt. I know. I think it's a really cool way to take yourself through a quilt pattern because it breaks it up into these manageable chunks. You don't get overwhelmed by all these things you need to do, all these blocks you need to create. You can really focus on that one block, learn how it's done, create however many you need for the quilt, and then move on to the next one. So it's a really, really great way to just manage your time and make sure you actually finish the quilt top. How many of you out there have unfinished quilt tops? I mean, I <laughs> I have a quite a quite a few um, unfinished projects just in general because a lot of the times I want to show you guys a new technique or um, you know really different way to use a tool or something like that. So I'll have something like three finished quilt blocks that would combine together to make a really neat quilt, <laughs> but then I don't have time to finish the quilt and it just sits there. So this is just a really awesome way to not only work your way through an entire quilt top, but also have a community much like this, so what, of other sewists working with you at the same time. So it's kind of like you have your quilt support group as well. And that can be so invaluable to learn from each other, to, you know, encourage each other to move along with the pattern. So we also, as I mentioned, have a kit for the mystery quilt. And once you receive your quilt, it's going to contain the fabrics that are in the inspiration quilt that are featured in all the videos that you will see, in all the photos that you will see as the weeks progress. So you'll have a little bit of a clue as to the theme of the quilt um, and, of course, the color scheme. I mean, I'm showing it to you right now. If you choose not to buy a kit um, and you want to, you know, grab up your own fabrics for the quilt, that is perfectly fine as well. We will give you tips with the very first lesson for fabrics to choose. Um, you know, how many solids and, you know, a focal print direction, right? Because as you can see, there's one print and the rest are blenders, okay? So you'll have a good idea of how to go about choosing your fabrics, what sort of color shades and values are going to work together, because you're working on this totally blind. And uh, we want to make sure that you end up with a quilt that makes sense, that looks beautiful. Um, so that's going to be 
really necessary for you to pay attention to those portions of the lessons uh, so that you can um, compose the colors and shades and prints and solids for your chosen quilt. Now, of course, it's much, much easier to grab up the quilt kit. You will not only have all the fabrics that you need to create the quilt top, but you will also get three sulky threads. And all three threads are going to be talked about within the quilt along. So you will have everything you need on hand, no guesswork. You can just start sewing as soon as the lessons drop on uh, October 6th, and you can have your kit in hand. Now we do have very limited quantities of this kit left. Um, you know, as you can imagine, grabbing up fabrics from these fabric companies is quite challenging, making sure that there's enough to go around, um, all these kinds of things. So once these kits are gone, unfortunately, we will not be able to reorder them. One of these fabrics is a limited edition, and there simply is not enough for us to replenish these kits. So if you're on the fence thinking about it, I suggest you jump on it while you are going to use this 35% off So What coupon today. Grab up this kit, grab up the kit I'm about to talk about, and you'll be well on your way to that $100, and you'll be able to get 35% off. Um, Jeannie is saying, what is the size of the finished quilt? I believe it's 76 inches square. It might be 72 because now I am questioning myself. It is a good size quilt. So there's a lot of fabric. All right. Uh, let's see. Kathy is saying, I thought you could only get the pattern by getting the kit. Um, let me know. Are you talking about the quilt along? Um, with the quilt along, the pattern is included with purchase of the quilt along. If you want to grab up the kit, that's a separate purchase. Maybe that is more cleared, clear. All right, let's see. <laughs> there's some there's some speculation about the theme of the quilts. I love it. Keep it coming <laughs> about the quilts along. Oh, and I should mention that uh, the instructor for the quilt along is Ashley Huff. Ashley Huff is from National Quilter Circle. You might know her from So News Magazine or uh, Creative Machine Embroidery Magazine. She's done work for a lot of publications. She's done a lot, a lot of sewing on TV. She's a really great instructor. She's a very accomplished quilter and uh, pattern maker. And I think you will love her approach as you watch these quilt along videos. Um, she just really breaks it down so that you really feel like you can do it. And, and honestly, you can, because if you can sew a straight line, you can make this quilt. And you're going to be so proud of yourself with the results. I will also mention is it is a foundation paper pieced quilt. So you will be learning all those techniques for how to build your quilt blocks on sulky paper salvi. So when you go to look at the kit for this uh, quilt along, you will notice there's an option to add on a special pack of sulky paper salvi. So if you do want to learn how to use paper salvi and why it is the best thing uh, since sliced bread when it comes to foundation paper piecing, you will learn those tips throughout the quilt along. But we've put together a special pack of paper salvi at a really great price for this because you need lots of sheets to complete all of your blocks. So we've bundled those together, put them at a fantastic price. Um, so that is why that is an optional add-on for the kit. So just so you're aware. <laughs> all right. Let me see. Um, Tammy says, I made a mystery quilt once, made sure to use the same color fabric for the background on each block so that they would all blend together at the end. That's a really great tip as well. Um, and yes, hopefully everyone who wants the kit gets one. I feel the same way. 
Um, yep, and it is a really nice sized quilt. You know, a lot of times when you do a quilt along or you get a quilt kit, it's for um, a little lap size quilt or a craft size quilt. And while those are great, it's really nice to have a big, large size quilt that you can actually put over your whole bed. Um, it's it's just looks really impressive. Oh, I also want to mention that within the quilt along, there are options for other things to make using the blocks that you will learn. So let's say you don't want to make an entire 72 or 76, sorry, I can't remember, size quilt. We will show you how to make placemats, table toppers, all kinds of different options so that you can use those blocks for other things as well. So you get a lot of bang for your buck with this one and you're gonna learn a lot of great techniques. And you will have access to the quilt along for all time. For however long you have your account at sewingonline.sulky.com, that quilt along, once you've purchased it, it will live in your personal library on our education site. So if you lose the pattern, if you want to download the pattern just for block one and use it for something else, you will have the option to do so. You can download the individual patterns for each block or the finished quilt pattern that includes everything. So it's going to be, you know, sent to you different ways. Um, and then it'll all be stored on that platform for you so you can refer to it at any time. If a couple years go by and you remember that center focal print or center um, block that's so beautiful on this quilt and you want to use it for something else, you can go back, refresh your memory, watch all those videos again, and you'll have all of that support. All right. And once you start a quilt, your whole family will have their own. <laughs> it's so true. And with the ho with the holidays coming up, um, you know, making a quilt is such an amazing keepsake gift. Um, you know, for newlyweds starting their life together, um, for kids who want, you know, something to remember their grandmas by, things like this. Um, you know, it's such a special, special thing to have um, that is timeless, really. All right. What is the cost of the kit? Um, so the, the kit is at a special price as well right now for the Mystery Quilt Along since we um, haven't started it yet and it starts October 6th. The quilt is at a special price of $189.99. Um, now, I just want to reiterate, there is a lot of designer fabric in this kit. And I think you're saving $30 or $40 off retail um, with this special pricing. Um, and if you add that to your kit and you use today's coupon, you'll get an additional 35% off. Um, all right. Let's see. Um, Anita says the coupon is a great deal. You always provide discounts. You all are super. Thank you, Anita. Appreciate that. <laughs> okay. Um, Sharon, I see your comment that you're having an issue, uh, adding your coupon code. So you do have to go through a good part of the checkout process in order to get to that coupon code field. Um, just don't complete your payment until you have added that. And if you are having trouble with the coupon, please reach out to us at customercare at sulky.com and we'll be able to walk you through it. Um, oh, hold on a second. I am receiving a message. <laughs> so hold on so I can give you the most accurate information. Um, oh, so adding your coupon is actually the first step of your checkout process. Do I have that right? Let me know. I'm so glad that we have um, Sulky customer support uh, helping us all out. <laughs> we have the best team. We're a very small team, but we do have all hands on deck to try to get the right information to you, especially when I screw it up here on So What. Um, 
Okay, so you can add your coupon code right in the cart area. All right. Let's see, Cindy says, does it include backing fabric? The kit does not include backing fabric. We had a limited number of, uh, or a limited amount of backing fabric kits available and those have sold out already. Uh, so like I said, we're, we're really getting close on these kits. So if you're on the fence about getting one, I highly suggest put that in your cart, use that coupon, make sure you sign up for the mystery quilt along so you're ready to go. Um, because once they're gone, they're gone. But as I mentioned too, there's a lot of blenders in this quilt kit. So I think that you'll be able to, uh, find a really nice backing fabric. Um, maybe even get an extra wide backing fabric. They have those at your local fabric store. I'm sure if you go to the Kona cottons, um, a lot of the times they have the extra wide and that way you don't have to piece together your backing fabric. Um, and you can choose a nice neutral, you know, a cream or even a light gray would look pretty. Um, but once you get your kit, you can take a look at all those colors and, you know, go from there for your backing fabric. And thankfully, adding your backing is like the very last step in the end of October. So you'll have plenty of time to, uh, you know, figure out your backing fabric, figure out which fabric you want to use for your binding um, and things like that. So you can really finish it all up and not just finish the quilt top, but finish the entire quilt. How many of us have quilt tops that have not been quilted yet? <laughs> all right. So the whole idea is that we're going to work together on this, motivate each other. We're going to keep the enthusiasm going week by week with a new tutorial for the quilt. And we're all going to be able to finish together. So I'm excited about this one. All right. Um, Sharon says, I'm not good at foundation paper piecing. Well, Sharon, maybe this quilt along is for you so you can get more confident with it and see, you know, an expert using the paper piecing um, and maybe it'll start clicking. I mean, I know with me, every single time I do a foundation paper pieced project, I have to, you know, I, I need a refresher for which fabric goes where, front, back, this, that, the other thing. And then once you keep going and making more blocks, it starts to become more automatic. And then you can work your way through the other blocks um, and you'll just feel so accomplished. Like, oh, now it's clicking. With all the repetition, now I get it. So um, I have faith. I have faith. <laughs> uh, Rose says, is there machine embroidery in the quilt along? There is not but there are certainly areas of the quilt or the quilt blocks where you could add some personalization, maybe a monogram, or maybe you could do a, a machine embroidered uh, quilt label and add that to your backing. Um, I love doing that, especially if I'm giving a, it away as a gift. Um, it's kind of a way to sign your work as well. Um, because as I mentioned, like a handmade quilt is an heirloom, no matter how you look at it. And it's a really great idea to sign your work, add a monogram. Um, you could even try digitizing your own signature um, and, you know, sign it like an artist. I think that's a great idea. Um, and yes, the videos will help a lot um, because as I mentioned, you get to watch them over and over again. So if there's a block you're having particular trouble with, you could pause, rewind, watch that part over and over again until you get it and then you can move forward. So I think it's a great pattern for a quilt along um, because it's a little bit challenging, but again, if you can sew a straight line, you can make this quilt for sure. Okay. Let's see. Um, sorry, I'm going, there's so many comments. I don't want to leave any of you in the dust. <laughs> so if you have your questions, keep putting them in the comments, because again, as long as you're commenting, liking us on Facebook, subscribing to the YouTube channel, giving me those emojis, you will be eligible to win our $200 shopping spree at sulky.com. This is today's giant door prize because we are celebrating <laughs> 200 episodes of So What? 
So we will have one lucky winner today of all of you doing all of those things. So make sure that you're keeping those comments coming. Um, okay, is it foundation pieced or English paper pieced? It is foundation pieced. Foundation pieced using sulky paper solvy. Okay, and Cecilia has not even tried paper piecing, would love to try it. Um, I, I just think this is a really great starter project for anybody who hasn't tried foundation paper piecing. There's not a lot of tiny little pieces in the blocks. Um, so you can really get a hang of it. And, um, you know, Ashley's going to show you how to nest your seams when you're putting your blocks together. Everything's going to lie nice and flat. So you can even quilt this yourself. You will not have to, you know, send it off to a long armor, something like that. She's going to give you all the tips and tricks for that. And thank you, Esther. The quilt size is 76 square. Okay. Do you get the fabric requirements if you don't get the kit? If you don't purchase the quilt kit, you will have everything you need to create the quilt within the quilt along instructions. It'll come with a pattern, um, a pattern for each block. And then when the quilt is revealed at the very end, you'll get the finished pattern that includes all the blocks and all the instructions and layouts and everything. So uh, yes, you will have fabric requirements in the first lesson on October the 6th. Um, and when that lesson becomes available, if you've registered, you'll get an email saying, hey, guess what? The quilt along is ready. Lesson one is ready for viewing. You'll head on over, log into sewingonline.sulky.com. You will be able to watch the video for the first lesson, get the pattern for the first lesson, and start creating your blocks. Um, and you'll get your supply list, your fabric requirements, all of that. Um, yes, okay. And also, as soon as you register, actually, you will get a supply list, which you can print out as a PDF and make sure that you have everything on hand, um, whether you're buying the kit or not. You know, there's always helpful no notions and tools you might want to have handy. Um, so that'll be part of your supply list that you get when you register as well. Okay. And yes, placemats and table toppers. It's a really great way too. if the large size of the quilt is intimidating to you, you can still make these smaller projects using the block patterns and, you know, really kind of ease your way into making a quilt if you've never made one before. All right. Would love to do the placemat and tabletop versions. Excellent. You can also pare it down. Um, there is a large uh, focal block in the center of this quilt. You could make just that and have a smaller sized quilt. Um, and that would still be equally as impressive. Okay. All right. Amazing. With 200 episodes and you still have not won a giveaway, Betsy, how is this possible? I mean, I I remember you, I think, from episode one um, when I used to be in my other sewing room that was so much smaller than this one, although this one is really starting to get smaller as well. How is that possible that you've never won all of these prizes that we give away each week? Um, I do use a random number generator and every single person who has liked, subscribed, commented, you know, engaged with the post is assigned a random number and that is how the winner is chosen. Um, so I have faith, again, that it'll happen for you one of these times. All right. Does the coupon work on the class fee? The coupon, unfortunately, does not work on the class fee. Um, all of our classes are over on our education site, which is sewingonline.sulky.com. It's a separate website from sulky.com where you buy your kits and products. Um, that's just how it works because of our interactivity and all of our videos. It has to be hosted on this other platform. 
So the two do not go hand in hand. So unfortunately, every time we have a paid event, like a quilt along, um, a video cast, a sewing session, those are purchased over at sewingonline.sulky.com. And then anytime you have a physical product that you're buying, like a kit or a thread pack, et cetera, that's at sulky.com. So the coupon is only good over at sulky.com. And there are a couple of other um, uh, restrictions on the kit. For example, you can't um, use it on clearance items, digital products, um, you know, like a, an embroidery design, let's say. Um, and there's there's a few other caveats to that. And let's put them in the chat uh, since um, that was in our email that went out to everybody who gets our emails. But there might be some viewers watching who don't get those emails. And I want to make sure that you see the restrictions on the coupon because you might be trying to use it for a ton of digital products um, and then it's not going to work and you're going to be confused. Like, I have $100 in the cart. Why isn't it working? Um, so we'll put those those restrictions on the coupon um, for you there. Okay. What size are the blocks? So the blocks are actually different sizes. Um, so you're going to have to wait and see on that one. <laughs> okay. Um, can you give us a name of the quilt along print fabric? You guys are killing me here. It's supposed to be a mystery. It's supposed to be a mystery quilt. <laughs> I will say it's a free spirit fabric. A free spirit fabric is the print fabric. All right. That's our, all you're going to get out of me. <laughs> you can see a little bit of it though. Okay. Is there hand sewing with the foundation paper piecing? There is not. It is machine sewing all the way. Unless you choose to hand quilt your finished quilt, it is machine sewing. All right. Um, so many comments today. I love it. Um, all right. I'm going to try to, um, I'm going to try <laughs> to blow by some of the comments here because we have to get to today's project and we're already halfway through our so what today. Um, so Kathy says she's convinced and she's going to sign up. Okay. Let me know how you like it, Kathy. I think that you won't be disappointed. Um, I'm pretty excited as you can tell about it. All right, let's get to today's project, which, um, comes with another great kit that we have curated for you all here on So What. Um, this is one of the most fun and functional projects I have ever created. Um, I have many variations of this project and I use it all the time. Um, one of these projects I've had for a couple of years and I still use it, I travel with it, um, I have one that I've made that basically stays with my suitcase so that when I'm packing for any trip, I already know where it is and I can fill it with things. Um, I have another one that I have uh, with sewing supplies in it. I have two that I've made for my girls that they keep uh, their favorite art supplies and pens and really nice markers in because quite honestly, I'm sick of finding them all over the house. <laughs> so um and it's really great to take on the go with them as well when we're headed out to a restaurant and they want to color or draw or, you know, we're headed on a road trip and they want to color and draw. They can just grab their uh, roll up and everything is already inside. So I'm calling this the sewing roll up or excuse me, the supply roll up. sew along now. I know now I'm going to be super confusing because I just said that all of our education is over at sewingonline.sulky.com. All of our physical product, including kits, threads, etc., are at sulky.com. Well, we are trying to bridge the gap here a little bit with this supply roll-up sew along. So when you purchase this kit at sulky.com, you will get a full video tutorial start to finish for how to make the project 
And you will also get the full PDF pattern with four color, or excuse me, full color photographs, step-by-step -step instructions, everything you need that you can print out or save to your computer for future reference. And you will make a ton of these. So with your kit purchase, the video comes for free and the pattern comes included as well. This is already up at sulky.com so you can purchase the kit. So you don't need to do anything else. You don't have to go register for anything else. Um, everything will be included with that one kit purchase. So you will be able to use your coupon with this kit because the video and pattern come with it. So once you purchase the kit for the sew along, you will receive a PDF. So it will be a downloadable document. Once you open it, it will say, here's instructions for getting your video. Here's instructions for getting your pattern. They both live on the same page over at sewingonline.sulky.com. So all you have to do is read that PDF, add these things to your library for free by using the links in your PDF, and you already have access to everything you need to create the project. Whew, is everyone with me? Did everyone follow? I know it's confusing because we offer so many different ways to consume our content. And the reason for that is because different people learn in different ways. And we really just want to be sure we're covering all of our bases. If you would rather, you know, watch a free webcast or watch me here on So What, and that's how you like to learn, great. If you like a longer format session with lots of parts and tons of techniques that you can refer to again and again and again, we have those for you too. If you want to do this sew along and you've got the kit, now you have a full video for how to make it and the pattern for reference. There's also a Q&A portion um, where your video lives. So if you have a question while you're watching it, you can type it right into the page right then and there, and we will be notified of your question and we can answer you um, as soon as time allows. So, really cool. Um, okay, Florian, I think you might be talking about the quilt along. So, um, you're saying you purchased the $19.99 before you purchased the kit. So, I think you're talking about the quilt along. The quilt along kit does not come with the quilt along event. But the sew along kit that I'm about to talk about, that all comes together. I know. I'm so confusing. Okay. Okay. Betsy says it can be a little tricky. <laughs> All right. So I'm, don't worry, I'll explain it again, but I've moved on to the sewing roll up, excuse me, the supply roll up. So along, let me show you what the project is. This roll up, as you can see on the left, it is you can see it flat on a table with the ties. In the middle, you can see I'm opening the supply roll up and it's got a nice magnetic snap with some antique hardware, looks great. You could see some little supplies peeking out above the little pocket. And then you could see it all the way rolled up with the ties tied in a cute little bow around it. So it's really easy to pack up your favorite sewing supplies or your favorite markers, or it's really great for makeup brushes. And you simply fold over the top, attach it with your magnetic snap, roll it, and then tie it shut. The other thing it features is quilting. So can you see my little crosshatch pattern that I've quilted on this guy? I'm gonna go, that, go over that with you as well. And then it has a few sort of what I would consider to be designer touches. 
So not only do you have your magnetic snap, which is in this antique finish, but you also have these little antique finish cord ends. And these just kind of finish the end of your little ties, tie in the other hardware that you have on your roll up, and it just gives it a little bit of a designer feel to it. The other thing that this features is some fold over elastic on the top of your pocket. So we make the bottom a little bit larger than the fold over top, than this top edge, so that we have room in our pockets. And the fold over elastic allows us to have a little bit more ease when we're putting things inside. So if you have some sewing tools that are a little bit bulkier, larger, like for example, my seam roll, you know, it's kind of a big bulky tool. You can measure and mark your pockets so that you can fit that big bulky tool inside and your fold over elastic allows you to have a little bit more room in the pocket. Not to mention, it matches perfectly. So this cute fabric is called So Good. Um, so Good Pins, to be exact. It is a sewing-themed fabric collection from Wyndham Fabrics, and you can see it's got really cute sewing pins all over it. So this makes it perfect to store your sewing goodies, but you could certainly use it for so many different things. And it's this beautiful violet purple color that we all love. I think everybody responds well to this color. Um, it's one of my favorite colors as well. I mean, my phone is this color. It just seems, this color seems to follow me. <laughs> so anyways, um, I'm gonna go through the overview of steps for how this project comes together. But just know when you purchase this kit, you get the full video tutorial. So you will see all of the quilting, any machine adjustments needed, any notions or tools that make your life easier, how to measure and mark everything on your pieces. Um, there's a layer of batting inside, so it gives it a little body and structure as well. Um, and Anyways, there's, there's just a lot of support that comes with this kit. You'll get the video, the pattern, everything that you need. Also on the video page, there's a flippable pattern. So while you're watching the video and making your roll up at the same time, if you're uh, sewing for a little bit longer than the video, simply pause the video, flip the next page or what have you of your pattern, and it's all on one page, easily navigatable, navigable, something like this, <laughs> from one page there at sewingonline.sulky.com. So you can only get the video and pattern if you buy the kit for this project. And it is at an, an amazing deal already, but you could certainly apply it to your So What coupon today as well. Lori says, my sewing room is purple. All right, so this is perfect for your sewing supplies. So let's get into it here. First and foremost, we're gonna start by making the ties. So, well, obviously you wanna start by cutting all of your pattern pieces and all of that is gonna be spelled out for you in the pattern. So you'll have your front piece, your back piece, your batting piece, your fold over elastic and the fabric for your two ties. So first we're going to make our two ties. And what I like to use to make these because they're very narrow fabric strips is I love a clover hot ruler. Who out there has a clover hot ruler? So it sounds kind of weird, but it is a really thin, mine's way over, um, <laughs> out of reach on my pressing station. Um, but it's a really thin, almost fabric feeling ruler and you can press right through it. It has all the markings that you need on it for, you know, down to eighth inch uh, seams, I think. So you fold your fabric around this ruler to make these nice narrow fabric tubes and just steam it. And then you have the perfect fold line that you need 
to create your fabric ties. So we have them at sulky.com if you want to check those out. If you're this close to your $100 so you can use your coupon, then grab up a clover hot ruler because you will use it for so many things. So I created these ties using that hot ruler to press my ties in half, then unfold, then fold the long edges in toward that fold line, then fold my strip in half again and press. That way my long raw edges are enclosed in the fold and now I have two fabric ties that I can then top stitch to finish them up. So you'll top stitch on both long edges of your ties. And the great thing about this is we don't need any finished ends of the ties because one end is gonna be concealed by the cord end and the other end is inserted into the seam. So the only edges we really need to finish are those long raw edges because it can be kind of hard to stitch along those really small end pieces um, and have a nice looking accurate seam. So it's kind of cool that we only have to sew those long edges and we can leave the short ends alone. So then you're gonna want to attach those cord ends. And within the sew along, you will see me show you how to use these. It's a really interesting piece of hardware um, and it has a tiny little screw on it. So you are going to need a really small screwdriver or if you have a screwdriver kit for eyeglasses, that size screwdriver, depending on you know your eyeglass screw, um, is probably just right for the little screw that's on the back of this. Um, you also are going to need a little dab of either super glue or craft glue. And that's just for extra security. We don't want this thing falling off, even if you've screwed it in place. So what I do is I use a little dab of super glue, make sure I have a protected surface and that I am away from my sewing machine when using the super glue. Um, I actually have a roll of parchment paper in my sewing room and I use it for whenever I am using any type of glue and even sometimes spray adhesive because parchment can just cover my cutting station I can use whatever adhesive I'm using, and then sometimes I can even reuse the parchment a couple of times as well. Um, and it's just a really quick and easy way to protect your surface from goo and glue and things like this. All right, so you'll need a small screwdriver for this hardware as well as your glue of choice. I like super glue because you only need like a little dab and it dries really quickly. So you can move forward with the project without having to sit and wait for glue to dry. Um, there's nothing worse, right? <laughs> but just keep in mind, if you use a craft glue, like an E6000, or I think that's what it's called, um, you will have to wait possibly even overnight for the glue to dry before you move forward with the project. Um, so a tiny, tiny bit of super glue, um, will do and then you're going to screw in your hardware which just kind of compresses the fibers and makes sure that nothing is going to go anywhere. And now we have this really professional looking little end to our tie um, and we didn't have to do anything but sew those long raw edges. So now you can set those ties aside and we're going to construct the main part of the roll up. But first, we're going to add our embellishment. So here's where you can really take liberties with this project. If you want to try out a new quilting technique that you've never done before, or if you want to do straight line quilting or matchstick quilting, you can kind of follow along the print of the pins and just do some straight line quilting across the entire piece. Or you can do what I've done here and do a crosshatch pattern. But whatever you do, if it's your first time quilting um, or you're just not as comfortable with it, I highly suggest you plot your quilting lines. 
Just use your clear ruler and a piece of chalk or removable fabric marker of your choice and plot the quilting lines you want to create. That way, if anything gets wonky or if let's say you've done your crosshatch pattern, but it's not lining up, you know, end for end or something like this has gone on, you can go and make adjustments, redraw your quilting lines, and then when you go to sew, you won't have any mistakes. Fingers crossed, right? It's just a really good tip to ensure that, you know, the design is how you want it. There's also tips within the sew along in the videos and the instructions that you will get for different um, embellishments you can add. Let's say you want to add an embroidery design, a monogram, some kind of personalization to the flap, right? So when you fold it over, um, it has a cute little phrase or, you know, message of some kind. Um, there's measurements. Uh, a measurement guide for the area of embellishment that you have so that you don't do an embroidery design and then half of it folds over to the back, those kinds of things. Okay. Um, so for the thread, I should have mentioned the thread that comes with this kit is, I should have a picture of this kit somewhere. Let me just show you. This is everything that comes in the kit. So you'll get the fabric, you'll get the batting, you get the fold over elastic, you get all the hardware, and you also get a king spool of sulky 50 weight cotton thread. And look at the colors. It just all goes together so perfectly. So this thread is used for the construction as well as the quilting of the piece. And what's great about this thread is it's a nice sort of all-purpose weight thread. But when you're using it for the quilting, it doesn't compete with the print of the fabric. It just kind of melts away into your fabric. So if you're looking at it back here, it doesn't even really look quilted. But you can see that I've added some interesting dimension to the project by adding the quilting. Not only that, but it's also going to help attach it to the batting. So it's doing two things, giving a little bit of decoration, but then also making sure that the batting doesn't shift as you're using it um, and over time. All right, so this is everything you get with the kit. The 50 weight cotton thread we're gonna use. We don't ever have to take the thread um, and change it out. We're also gonna use that thread in the bobbin as well for the whole life of the project. So after plotting your quilting lines, it's just a matter of quilting your quilting lines. And I have attached a, or not attached, I have, um, I, I'm gonna have to make this larger so I can actually speak to the photo. You can see I have a presser foot where the front of the presser foot is open. This is used a lot for uh, machine applique, so you could see where your needle is headed. I like to use this sometimes for quilting. Um, you could also do a decorative stitch along your quilting lines as well. Uh, so lots of different options for how you wanna quilt the piece. Uh, this is quilted only with your top fabric and your batting. So our backing fabric is not even attached yet. The back of the project actually has no quilting on it, but that piece is all inside. So you can't even see the quilting anyways, right? Once it is all folded over, it looks like your whole piece has been quilted. So when you're doing the quilting, it's just your outer fabric and your batting, which is sort of acting as your whole quilt sandwich while you're quilting. So you will just sew, 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 sew along all of your quilting lines. You can try your hand at free motion. Um, you could enlarge one of the pin designs and do some free motion embroidery. Have fun with it. It's a small project, so you can take your time um, and really experiment. All right, so after your quilting is complete, we're gonna give this a little bit of shaping. So you'll notice that the flap has some curved edges to it. 
And that's just another small detail that just gives it more of a designer look. It looks less homemade, if you will. So instead of having these straight edges along our flap, we're gonna curve them ever so slightly. So all I did was I took a spool of my Sulky 30 weight cotton thread and follow that curve and shape the flap edges. Then you're gonna follow the pattern to mark your snap placements. You're gonna have a snap um, on your flap and a snap on the upper edge of your pocket so that when they meet up, they kiss each other at the right place. And all of those dimensions are within the pattern that you will get with purchase of this kit. All right, so uh, notice as well, when we're marking the snap placement on the flap, which is the curved side of the project, it's on the non-quilted side. But when we're marking our snap placement for the front or for the uh, pocket, it's on the quilted side. So you just have to visualize how it is folding over itself uh, so that you have it in the right place. But again, you will have the video to guide you through that process and you will also have the full pattern. So um, it'll all be spelled out for you with the exact measurements of which one goes where. And then you will need to add your magnetic snaps. And this is another thing that I show start to finish for how to use this type of hardware. It is uh, not complicated. You do need either a seam ripper or I like to use, it's called a touch knife and it's made by Ulfa. And it's a really, I'm actually gonna grab it because I just noticed where it is on my cutting table here. Um, we have these at sulky.com. They're super inexpensive. And it's amazing the little things that I use this for. So it's called a touch knife, okay? And it's just a little retractable X-Acto knife. Just a little, uh, very sharp point. And it retracts when not in use, so it's super safe. And I love it because it's in this little shape and it doesn't get lost with my other tools. Um, so at any rate, you might already have an X-Acto knife or you could use um, a seam ripper, like I mentioned, but you need something to cut the little holes that you need for your magnetic snaps to fit through. And I give you all the um, instructions that you need in the video so that you are not nervous going to your project with this little craft knife because I know it can be a little bit um, nerve wracking uh, to take a knife to something that you just quilted to the nines. Um, so I want you to feel confident like you can do it. Whoops, where are we? All right, so our snaps, once you have inserted the male snap and the female snap, then it's a good idea to add just a little square of fusible interfacing to the wrong side of your snap hardware. This is an optional step so your kit is not going to include the, the little scrap of fusible um, interfacing, but you know you might have some on hand. And again, it's totally optional, so you certainly don't need to add this. Um, but at any rate, I did for mine just so that the back side of your hardware is concealed and it doesn't kind of scratch against the batting in your project. Um, it just contributes to the longevity of the project. And if you have accidentally cut a little bit too far for your magnetic snap, this fusible interfacing hopefully will, you know, prevent that area from fraying too much or your hardware from falling out. Um, so it kind of does, you know, a number of things for safeguarding your project. Now we're gonna add the ties to the project. And again, this will all be in the pattern that comes with purchase of the kit for where and how to place the ties so that they are not in the way of the flap, etc. So we're gonna baste those in place. And then we're gonna 
top stitch our project um, after, well, actually I'm skipping a step here. I just noticed, I think I skipped, um, I skipped something <laughs> at any rate, after we based our ties in place, we're going to add our backing over our front. You're going to sew around that, turn it right side out, and then we're going to top stitch. Um, when we top stitch, it's going to close our opening with our stitches and we are going to uh, pull our ties away from the stitching so that we have a nice clean top stitch line. Um, and actually our opening for turning it right side out is actually the upper edge of our pocket, which we are going to encase in our fold over elastic. So you'll notice that your elastic is longer than uh, the pocket, and that is so that you can build in that ease for each one of your little individual pockets along the piece. So you'll want to clip the ends in place and then sort of evenly distribute the elastic along that edge. And as you can see, I'm using a lot of wonder clips. The elastic is pretty narrow and with all elastics, it is stretchy. So you're going to want to use a number of wonder clips. You do not want to use pins with fold over elastic because inevitably the pins will snag your pretty, pretty elastic. So if you don't have wonder clips, you can grab those up at sulky.com, use your coupon, or you can try using binder clips, things like that. I find that those, those, um, can kind of be a little bit too harsh for our fabrics. Sometimes they, they leave a mark. Um, but at any rate, want to give you some options. All right, then we're going to sew our fold over elastic in place. And I will say this part can get a little finicky. So within the video that you get with purchase of this kit, you will see many ways for how to tame this elastic so that it behaves for you because we're gonna sew along that fold line and we wanna make sure to catch the fold over elastic on the back side without veering off course. So I give you a couple of different things you can do to make sure it's not gonna shift um, and to make sure you can sew your straight line and uh, catch the back with your bobbin stitching. Once our fold over elastic is stitched, we're gonna fold our pocket up toward the flap and the pattern will detail, you know, how far to fold it up so that your snaps will kiss in the right place. And then we are going to sew the long edges of our pocket in place. And we're going to sew those in place and you'll notice that since we have a larger lower edge, which now is the upper edge of our pocket, that our pocket is going to start to have some room to it, okay? And, you know, we have that elastic that is our ease for putting our items inside. Now we're going to mark our pocket placements. So if you want to use this for a whole bunch of um, artist pencils, let's say, you're gonna have a lot more pockets that are a lot closer together. If you wanna use it for particular uh, sewing items that you always like to take on the road or take to classes, then you wanna sort of audition your, um, your items up against the pocket and measure around them and make sure to give yourself a little bit of ease so that the item can fit in and out. You also wanna take into account where your snap placement is so that you're not, you don't have a line, a pocket line, right down the middle of your snap because obviously you won't be able to use that area, right, as a pocket. So you might wanna start in the middle marking your pocket and go around your magnetic snap and then place the other pockets accordingly. And there are tips within the pattern for how wide to create your pockets to make sure they don't go too, too narrow because we wanna make sure that every pocket gets used. Then you're gonna sew along all of those pocket lines 
and you want to sew from the lower edge to the upper edge of your pocket with each line. You want to sew in the same direction so that you're distributing the fullness in the same direction across the project. And then once you've created all of your pockets, your project is complete. You could start filling it with all of your items and then you will simply fold your flap over the top of your items and start rolling it up as I showed you previously and then simply tie it closed with a little bow or a loose knot and just like that, your project is complete. And as I mentioned, this makes a really great gift for the holidays, for people of all ages, really. I mean, from young, young kids who want to take crayons, you know, on the go or to a restaurant night or something, all the way up to high school. Um, you know, this makes a great little supply caddy for all the items that they use most frequently. You could just throw it in your backpack. It's really great for traveling, great for sewing on the go. You can personalize it for the recipient, put a little, you know, dream big or something message on the flap. There are so many different ways you can personalize it for the recipients. And I'm just really excited about this fabric as well. I love a sewing themed fabric. I think it's the cutest. Um, and also with it being sort of these stripes of pins, it's actually just, I think, a really subtle nod to sewing. Um, so even if you're making this and using your kit to make the gift for someone and they don't even sew, um, they would have to look at it pretty hard to notice that these are actually sewing pins. So it's kind of a subtle nod to your sewing. Um, but, you know, you can make as big or as little of a deal of that um, as you want. <laughs> So again, with purchase of this kit, which is at a special, special deal of only $34.99, you will get all the fabrics that you need. You will get the batting. You will get the thread. You will get the hardware. And you will also get the full video tutorial walking you through every step of the project, the full pattern. You'll get a flippable pattern and you'll get the Q&A right on that page where you can ask your questions as you're moving along the project. So tons and tons of sulky support with you throughout the making of your supply roll-up. So grab up this kit today. If you're interested in that mystery quilt kit, they just told me we are very, very low on these. Um, so I really want to make sure everybody who wants a mystery quilt kit is able to get one. Once they're gone, they're gone. Um, make sure to also register then for the mystery quilt along. That is not going to come with purchase of your kit. So you want to be sure to not only purchase your kit, but then register for the quilt along. You'll be notified on October 6th when the quilt along begins. And then you can get everything ready to go. Start making your blocks and you'll be well on your way to making a beautiful finished quilt by the end of October. As long as you stay on on task and we're going to have to help each other with that. You guys are going to have to help me for sure. Um, all right. And just as a reminder, since we are celebrating 200 episodes of So What today, we have a special $200 door prize for one lucky viewer who is watching right now, commenting, giving me those great emojis, sharing out the post, engaging with me here today. That's all you have to do to be eligible to win this amazing store credit at sulky.com. And also, if you miss the beginning of today's episode, we also have a wonderful coupon. It's only going to be good for about 45 more minutes here. Um, and it is 35% off of a $100 purchase at sulky.com. You must use the coupon code so what? All one word. So what? for your coupon code to receive 35% off a $100 purchase. So you can grab up both of these kits and have an even more amazing deal by using that coupon. Again, it's only good for 45 more minutes, so make sure to jot it down. You cannot use the coupon for digital products, um, items that are already on sale. Um, oh, which I guess would be the Quilt Along kit. Mm, darn it. Okay, 
Sorry, everybody. I was leading you totally astray by that. And I apologize. So you can't use it for things already on sale. You can't use it for digital products. You can't use it for clearance items, but it's still a great way to stock up on your favorite sulky items um, at an amazing, amazing deal. All right. So I will quickly see if there are any uh, pressing questions. If I didn't answer your question today, you can add it to the chat here, um, or you can always email us at info at sulky.com and we will get back to you as well. Everyone's saying I have to shop fast. Yes, you do. <laughs> Staying on task. We will all help each other out. Definitely. Um, oh, and Sandra, thank you for liking my Halloween decorations in the background. This is our Witches In, Witches Out reversible wall hanging. And that is also available at sulky.com as a palette, which comes with all the thread or as the embroidery design. So you can buy it two different ways with or without the thread. All right. Yay for 200. And thank you all so much for watching 200 episodes of So What? I know that there are so many tutorials out there and to, you know, choose to watch this one. It's just so humbling and I so appreciate each and every one of you and love sharing this time with you. So I look forward to another So What? next week as we dive into October and all of the fun things that will be coming our way with holiday preparations and gift making. So thank you so much. Go shop at sulky.com. Use coupon code SOWHAT and have a great rest of your day.